Vermilion, Ohio, folks. That is a great market for Airbnb investments. And I got a beautiful looking Airbnb right there that's probably going to cost you a lot less than you think. And today I'm looking it over for my man Patricio, international investor, right? You've invested in the USA. You've invested in Mexico. You're very familiar uh, with short-term rental properties. And now I know you got some stuff over by resorts in Mexico. This is not quite as sexy up here in Vermilion, Ohio, but there's still a little sex appeal. We got, you know, Cedar Point, Putin Bay, things like that. So let's take a look at the numbers. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. I am James Wise, and I am here to make you some money, right? Look at this thing. I like this house, folks. I like this house. This is a nice split-level home, right? Cleveland Real Estate, Cleveland Market, folks. The address is 6113 Edson, Vermilion, Ohio, okay? Now, let me pop up the map so y'all can see where Vermilion is, all right? It's not super-duper close to Cleveland, but, like, we're going to call it the Cleveland Market because I don't think anybody who, uh, you know, is looking on a national scale, has ever heard of Vermilion. And, you know, my company's based in Cleveland, and we still service Vermilion, right? What's cool about Vermilion, right? We're looking at, oh, I don't know, probably like 45 minutes to an hour drive, right, from Cleveland. We are right there on the water, right? You're kind of like halfway between Cleveland and a beautiful draw right here, all this good stuff up here, Okay. Kelly's Island, the most popular one. Putin Island, Putin Bay, Putin Bay Island is the most popular one. Kelly's Island, Putin Bay. It's kind of like Mardi Gras up there, right? So if you're ever in Cleveland and you want to get drunk as fuck and like see some boobs with some beads, go up to Putin Bay and you'll see some boobs if you got some beads, right? That's that's what's going on up there, right? Lakeside Marblehead, camping, boating, that kind of stuff. Catawba. Port Clinton, right? I actually do some camping up in Port Clinton a couple times a summer, right? All this goodness over here. We also got Cedar Point up in there. And then you also got the draw of Cleveland, right? So this uh, area, right, Vermilion, this is going to be an area that I think we're going to make the most money taking our properties in doing short-term rentals, right? We're going to get a whole mix of stuff, some tourism from those islands, those bead booby seekers. And then we're also going to get people, you know, just coming in for like two weeks, a month, et cetera, et cetera, uh, to be close to Cleveland. Maybe they're, you know, travel nurses, things of that nature, right? Now, this particular property, before we get into the numbers, let's take a look at it, right? It is a nice property, and it's a newer build. Now, this is going to be interesting depending on where you're watching this from. The year it was built was 1970, right? So I know I got people out there on the West Coast. It's like, what? This dude just said it was a newer build. That freaking thing is 52 years old. For the Cleveland market, for Northeast Ohio folks, this is basically brand new. This property was pretty much built friggin' 10 minutes ago, right? Uh, actually, it's not even done being built. I'm building that some bitch right now. I got a shovel under this desk, okay? For the Cleveland market, that is freaking new, all right? We got 100-year-old housing stock out here, right? So it's pretty nice that you get a property that's this new. You're going to have a lot less uh, deferred maintenance and ongoing maintenance costs with this thing. Very, very nice, quiet little neighborhood uh but you're a hop skip and a jump like i said from all the good tourist attractions and as far as the house goes it's an owner occupied house you don't need to do a lot to it right it looks pretty good uh but the kitchen i think leaves a lot to be desired right you got some discoloration you got the old funky dishwasher the cheap countertop right so what i have done is i have set a budget of 50k uh, for us. Now, I know that kind of sounds like a lot. I just got done saying it's not a lot, uh, but 50K is, is actually a pretty small budget when it comes to a short-term rental because I want to split that up into two. I want to do about $25,000 in work, and what's that going to get us? Well, I want to go in and repaint all the walls again, 
redo uh, the carpet, probably go hardwood. We have a lot of carpet in there. And for a short-term rental, I think you're just going to get like spilled pop, wine, food, stuff like that, right? So I like to go hardwood so we don't got to keep messing with that. And then I want to upgrade that kitchen, right? So I want to spend about 25 k doing that. And then after that, I want to spend 25 k on furnishings, right? Uh, it's a four-bedroom, two-bathroom house. We got to get beds, cookware, grills, appliances, flat screen TVs, pull-out beds, uh, you know, little rugs, little this, little that. Like, it really adds up, right? If you, like, actually have to go in and furnish an entire house. Like, we need freaking Roku remotes so people can watch Netflix, right? You got to do all that. Well, I guess we can get the smart TV so we don't need the Roku players. But you guys get what I mean. Like, we have to do it all. We have to create that, uh, like, hotel-esque atmosphere bedding oh towels cookware i probably even said cookware dishware glassware all types of stuff alarm clocks clocks friggin nicky knackies and shit end tables all all the jazz right we got to do it all probably gonna run you about 25 g's okay then we'll be able to rent this bad boy for like 250 a night if we got somebody to rent it 100 percent of the time folks that's like 93 grand a year 77.50 a month, but I chuckle because it's like it's it's a short term rental. We ain't ever gonna get it 100% occupied. No, no, no. That would be bad shit crazy. Please, even if you folks who are watching my show right now never do business with Holton Wise or never do business in Ohio, do not buy an Airbnb investment or do not buy any type of investment property where you're thinking about doing a short term rental of any kind or actually even a long term rental where somebody has convinced you that you will get your rent 100% of the time, because you won't. That's not realistic. What's more realistic is being able to get, oh, I don't know, around 60% uh, occupancy, right? So of that schedule of 7750, which is your 250 a night rent rate, uh, in reality, after factoring in fixed and variable expense estimates, and of course, the vacancy that comes along with this type of business model, we'd actually be pulling down about two grand a month, right? 2039.35 is what I have on the chart, uh, or just under 25,000 for the year. Now, with our investment, 165k is what they're asking. They just dropped the price down, okay? This was listed at 190, did not move. They just dropped it down to 165. The fact that it's at 165 right now, I believe we need to take advantage, hop on that if we want to take it down, right? So, 165 plus 25 for the reno, 25 for the furnishings, we'd be all in at 215. Upfront costs, which would be your mortgage, the reno and the furnishings, you're looking at 91250. Now, if you don't have exactly 91250 in your pocket, that's okay uh, because the reno and the furnishings, Holton Wise, uh, we take credit cards, so you can actually fund that $50,000 with credit card if you need to. So in reality, you really only need uh, like 40000 in cash on hand. The rest you could fund with your credit card, okay? Uh, mortgage would be 123750 This in my opinion, would result in about 19% cash on cash return or an 11.4 cap. And best of all, folks, you are in a very nice neighborhood where there's a lot of owner-occupied properties. What do we have going on right now? We have the real estate market kind of starting to slip, right? If this was eight months ago, this probably would have sold for like 190, okay? Real estate market's starting to slip. So I think eventually the real estate market will go back up, and this is just like a nice high-demand area. So if this is something you're going to own, maybe not forever, but you're doing like a five- to seven-year hold, your internal rate, rate of return will probably be huge because I think you're going to be able to sell uh, for more than what we're buying. I think you'll be able to sell this for more than 165, five, seven years from now. But – don't make your buying decision based on that little tidbit, right? That's purely speculation. That is just my opinion. I don't tell the future. But you know what? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate out here, so I like to think I know what's going on. But again, if you buy this and then seven years from now, you don't get more than 165 for it. I don't want you being like, Dad, James, you guaranteed I'd sell for more than 165. I don't like you anymore. I'm upset. Stop it, Karen. I never guaranteed. I said I don't guarantee it, Karen. Stop trying to talk to my manager. It's my company. I'm the manager. There is no manager. That's why it's called Old Wise. All right. Seriously, though, I think it's a dope deal. <laughs> Let me know what you want to do.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.